It seems like every year we hear about a new smartphone that has the strongest glass ever. In fact, these air quotes are something that I think I've done in like every drop test intro for the last two years. And this year is no exception. The Note 20 Ultra is the first smartphone to feature Corning's Gorilla Glass Victus, which the company claims is 25% better at drop performance than Gorilla Glass 6. Now, while that sounds impressive, stronger glass in and of itself isn't the entire story. It's how the manufacturer ultimately implements that glass on their phones that I think matters most. For example, a manufacturer could technically opt for stronger glass, but then use a thinner sheet of it, keeping the durability at the same level as the previous generation while making the device maybe a little bit thinner or freeing up internal space for something like a bigger battery. Or they could actually use the same thickness of glass and use a stronger glass, which would improve durability, but you just never know how it's implemented. And that's why we do these drop tests. Today, we're dropping the Note 20 Ultra and then we're gonna compare it to footage from the iPhone 11 Pro Max drop test that we conducted earlier so we can see how these two phones stack up side by side. This video is sponsored by iBlazon. Smartphones can be expensive, but that doesn't mean protecting them has to be. With the Aries case by iBlazon, for just $20, it features an unbending polycarbonate shell, a clear backing that doesn't hide the phone's design, and deeply raised bezels and corners, giving the Note the protection it deserves without breaking the bank. You can find it on Amazon by searching Note 20 case by iBlazon or by hitting that first link down below. Round number one, backdrop. And three, two, one. After the backdrop, the Note unfortunately has some of its glass cracked. The damage isn't too bad though, with the cracks mostly contained to the top left. And while there are a few scratches here and there on the rest of the back, the total damage isn't anywhere near as bad as it was on the iPhone, where the rear glass shattered pretty much all over the place, even in the camera housing. So while it wasn't pretty, it's an easy win for the Note in round number one. Round number two, corner drop. The corner drop yields similar results on both phones, with neither results being all that bad. Both phones still pass our 15 point inspection, and I'd say the only difference here is the Note's damage is just a little bit more visible, with it getting scuffed while the iPhone's stainless steel only got scratched, giving the iPhone the slight edge in round number two. Round number three, face drop. In three, two, one. After the face drop, the iPhone's glass cracked, with the damage starting at the bottom left and then spreading up to the top right. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, on the other hand, well, its glass surprisingly remains fully intact, which is an incredible result, with the only real damage to the phone being these very light scratches that are only noticeable under direct light like we have here. Other than that, it's a perfect result. Now, it's important to note that this is only a sample size of one, Unfortunately, it isn't sustainable for us to conduct the multiple trials that we want to do, but still a really impressive result for the Note, giving it the win in round number three, bonus round. With both phones proving to be fully functional after our 15 point inspection, they move on to the bonus round, where each phone is being dropped from higher up at just under 1.5 meters. Last time, the iPhone was actually able to survive all 10 bonus rounds, although it was pretty ugly with chunks of glass literally falling out and the phone losing the major functionality of its rear cameras. The Note 20 Ultra's front glass hasn't even cracked yet, so we'll see if it can maintain its performance here in the bonus round. In three, Two, one. One bonus drop in and the Note's glass is still intact. There are no cracks on the front and everything is still fully functional on the phone. So we'll move on to the next drop. Drop it. Another drop and the same exact result with no additional damage to report. So we'll keep on going. Drop. Three, two, one. 
Seven drops in and still nothing. The front glass hasn't cracked. And what's interesting is the rear glass's initial cracks from the backdrop on concrete hasn't gotten much worse. Normally we see cracks like this begin to spiderweb with all the impact testing, but nothing on the note. Three, two, one. After all 10 bonus drops, surprisingly, the Note 20 Ultra's glass on the front is still not cracked. The phone is still fully functional, the OLED looks great, the cameras are still good, and that in-display fingerprint scanner is working without a problem. So just an amazing result all the way through. All right, with all four rounds in the books, let's take a look at the scorecard. In the first round, the Note 20 Ultra's damage was nowhere near as bad as the iPhone's. In the second round, the stainless steel on the iPhone gave it the slight edge. In the third, the Note 20 Ultra had the result that you would hope for when dropping your phone with the glass still fully intact. And it stayed that way all the way throughout the bonus round, making the winner by a huge margin, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.